uh, fall and it's uh, nice to be able to have my trees displayed. Um, so, you know, in the heat of the summer, I have to I put everything under the shade and off the benches. It's just too hot and uh, with that much sun on it. Uh, in the fall, the, the sun goes down a little earlier and the way my garden is set up, it, it just gets less light and it's just way less intense. Yeah, so here's the trees. And, you know, this is sort of the display space. I'm just continually trying to rework my understanding of how to make spaces, you know, uh, to highlight the trees. You just get a plethora of trees, and, and it's really hard to tell one tree from another, and it's just overwhelming. And so, you know, like, this was my space this year, and I kind of had that back set up, which I don't like because you're looking up in the trees, um, just to kind of try to offset it so it just didn't become monotonous. Um but yeah, I would have liked it lower uh, just for the display of the trees. And it's just, they're pretty exposed up there. They get a lot more sun. Uh, but yeah, and so, you know, you're you know you're trying to mix, you know, I'm trying to mix species. Of course, not putting too many species together the same, although I have three junipers down here. Uh, but then different heights and different colors and, and, you know, just picking the trees and deciding, so. Yeah. Let's start here. So this is a maple. Uh, Norway maple and uh, it's really it's really starting to come now like I think next year maybe the year after I'm going to be able to fertilize it pretty hard uh, in the spring um, and a little bit now for next year it'll push quite a bit and I'll put and I'm really going to cut it back because I did cut it back um, but uh I got stuff like these extra buds. I mean, those ones got fried in the sun. A few other ones did too. Um, but it pushed a bunch of sort of, uh, what do you call it? Swelling of the interior buds. You know, you look somewhere in there. You just have a plethora of little buds coming out. You can even here and here. So, but next year will be the real year. Um, you know, you say that, <laughs> you say that every year. But yeah, and I love this. You know, I'm hoping to grow this side out. So it just pushes this way. I'm liking this root spread. Um, you know, I'm even liking this root that comes up and out. I just have to figure out how to make blend this a little more. It just, it has this nice dynamic and, um, you know, I'll be able to get that all the way out. And so it'll, it'll be a nice, just, you know, root. It's going that way. Here's the spruce. You can see it's 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 starting to refine. It's starting to get refined, which is great. Like it's just more and more sort of compact and looks dense. Which I like. Spruce is great. I find it's really good for this. The needles are so small, so I can you know make it look alpine, uh, which is how the trees are much skinnier and pushed down. But yeah. willow you know it just needs more of this right it just needs more um i i like the way that's turned out it would look nice with the new pot and the trunk is just way too big right like i said it's just gonna need more this one was a fir you know, a couple downward branches Kind of put this one in just for the color, um, but yeah, it's just a sort of a chunk drop, chop, slowly growing out. I think you know one thought was, oh, just chop it there, you know, cut these back, um, and try to grow it right from there. And uh, I, the leaves are just too big, and I can get them to reduce. I could probably eventually get them down to this size, or this size. It's still way too big, so. That's where this will be the, the leader. And, and I'm, I'm, I may end up right here. So, you know, but again, I'm gonna chop back and chop back. <laughs> kind of this, this was, I had actually wired up in there and it didn't set <laughs> that way. So, it, but it's actually, it's, it's, it's still kind of in this flow of, you know, it was pointing out up here. And I was like, oh, oh that's not very good. But it slowly turned itself back in um, which gives, gives it this nice feel. So. Shimpaku juniper, so lucky in this local nursery to be able to find this sort of nursery stock. 
this was a 25 $25 tree when I got it and, and of course I should I gotta reduce it a bunch I'm just letting it grow this year this may all um, become a gin or come off I'm not sure a little juniper a twin trunk Again, I got that from just a nursery. Subalpine fir. I really like this one. I just, I just, you know, it just has a nice feel. Um, let's see, what do we got up here? Yeah, you know, hedge cedar. I'm letting it grow, so I'll repot it next year into like a, a cement, you know, developmental bones I container, the ones I have, and then. Uh, and trim it up a bit, pull it back, try to push the growth in, but super uh, apically dominant. But, you know, I'm getting some interior growth on it. So, not a lot, but some. Juniper, another Shampaku. This one I just styled up. Oh, when was it? Two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Uh, from a nursery stock i have a video of that coming up but yeah like a 25 dollar nursery stock and, you know, so it, it's i'm gonna need to protect it it's it's sort of just out here for now hazelnut out from my yard i collected this one just from my yard subalpine fir these trees you know some trees are just intimidating for your skill level <laughs> this tree is that for me you get attached to a tree and you don't do anything for a while but you know i transplanted it this year i trimmed some of the top off i you know i did thin it out a bit next year's the the year where i have to start to thin it out and get um and and again i i think i planted it a little bit off to the bottom just kind of there and i think there where i just get more of this initial movement um, I lose a little, there's a little movement there from this angle. Hmm. Yeah, and the back one. Anyways. This is also collected from my yard. Makes little berries. And really set this area up but but you know as i you know get more and more trees i i really do want to try to set it up so that you can appreciate the trees better and that makes means making little their own spaces uh with a lot more empty space so i'm going to try to really use use i have this area under all these trees And I'm actually going to thin out a bunch of these trees. They're really quite overgrown. I mean, they flower really nicely. Um, and those are a couple firs in there. Uh, but these are lilacs. And these beautiful yellow flower and a white flower in there. Um, and this one flowers out too. Um, it's a white flower. But I have all this space in here. And in the summer, um, it's nice and shaded. But maybe too shaded. So I am thinking of clearing it out a bit and then putting monkey poles or, 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 or whatever. Rocks, different placements in there with just letting a little bit more light in there. But, you know, I do have quite a few species that will work for that. Yeah, here's a, here's a couple uh, rosemary. Uh, and now I transplanted this one uh, just this uh, spring and it did struggle a lot. It's still growing, but it's struggling. Uh, and these are different different varieties of rosemary, um, but these these both started as like five dollar five dollar rosemary, and I've just sort of worked on it. And these have actually grown inside every year. So I haven't let them stay outside, so they've been in my indoor windowsill. So I may I may try to keep them outside this year. Not sure, but and then here's a new one I've just started bought this year. Again, it was. This one, I think, was even less. It was on super sale. 
um, but I sort of spun it around and this is one of my early first bonsai like I just <laughs> got this thing uh, tried like a root over rock and it's slowly growing in and around um, yeah anyways it's sort of a it, it needs some work to, to, to be anything. This is a long, almost literati style subalpine fir. Uh, nice little juniper. People have probably seen this one before if they've seen my, my site. Yeah. Sort of move some of these branches in. 